Howdy! Sequencing a human genome at the start of the century cost $3 billion. But after the cost of sequencing plummeted, we have sequenced thousands of individual human genomes for a fraction of the original cost. In a few years, you may even get your genome sequenced at the doctor's office as a routine medical procedure. The dream is that the affordability of DNA sequencing will soon allow us to sequence the genome of every human being in order to identify the genetic basis of many diseases, including cancer, and start working on personalized treatments. But how can we find the mutations that make your genome different from my genome or Neanderthal's genome? In this class, we will learn about lighting fast algorithms that can determine how your genome differ from my and Philip's genome. One of these algorithms is based on an ingenious file compression method introduced by researchers who never imagined it would be used to find disease-causing mutations. We're also going to discuss a disease that has resisted all efforts to eradicate it, HIV. The key reason why we still don't have an HIV vaccine is because HIV mutates so rapidly that it is winning the war against vaccine developers. As a result of its many mutations, HIV is not a single virus. Instead, it comprises several different types that cross the species barrier from monkeys to humans at different points during the 20th century and that continue to evolve today. A single vaccine for HIV will likely continue to evade us. Therefore, we need an algorithm for accurately comparing and classifying different types of HIV in order to design tailored drug cocktails for specific patients. We face a similar problem when we compare related proteins in diverged species separated by millions of years of evolution. Figuring out the elusive similarity between such proteins is a challenge. To address this challenge, we will learn about sequence comparison algorithms powered by a machine learning paradigm called a hidden Markov model. Along the way, we will encounter another scientist who had no clue that the algorithm he developed for speech recognition half a century ago would become widely used for finding subtle similarity between diverged proteins. To learn about hidden Markov models, we're going to need to take a trip back in time to go gambling with the Yakuza. We hope that you're going to take the risk with us and join us. Although these instructors may appear crazy, they are not quite as mad as they look. Dr. Pavel Pevsner is a distinguished professor of computer science at the University of California, San Diego, and a leading authority on bioinformatics. He's dressed this way because he sometimes thinks that he's a sheriff of bioinformatics, a frontier discipline underpinning the digital revolution in biology and personalized medicine. Dr. Philip Campo is an assistant professor of computer science at Carnegie Mellon University. To learn why he is dressed this way, you'll need to take this course or read the textbook, Bioinformatics Algorithms and Active Learning Approach, co-authored by the two speakers.